the only agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. who actually carries a S.H.I.E.L.D. MERICA! <laughs> Hello and welcome to my second review. This is my completely spoiler-free review of Captain America The Winter Soldier. I'm gonna be doing a spoiler review of the movie a little bit later, but for now, this is for all the people who haven't watched the movie. Cheers! Captain America The Winter Soldier is the sequel to Captain America The First Avenger and the second to last movie of Phase 2 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The movie stars Chris Evans as Marvel's best casting decision to date, Scarlett Johansson as the Black Widow, Anthony Mackie as fan favorite The Falcon, Samuel L. Jackson as angry Samuel L. Jackson with an eye patch, Robert Redford as a character known as Alexander Pierce, and your Aunt Robin as Agent Maria Hill. This movie is the best movie that Marvel has ever, ever, ever made, and that is all you need to know. Review over. The end. Bye. Oh, I should say more? Alright then, let's talk about it a little bit more. The president of Marvel Studios, Kevin Feige, has once said that he does not believe that superhero movies are a genre, that comic book movies are not a genre in and of itself, and that he believes that superheroes are simply characters that can appear in any type of movie and tell any type of story. They could be part of an action movie, they could be part of a drama, they could be part of a comedy, they could be part of a romantic comedy, who knows, hell, they could be part of a spy thriller like this one. And really, the idea that comic book movie is a genre in and of itself is kind of limiting. That's what he thinks anyway. And no movie embodies this particular philosophy better than this one. This movie is a straight up balls to the wall political spy thriller. The basic premise of the movie is that after the events of the Avengers, Cap is now working with S.H.I.E.L.D. and he has trouble dealing with the fact that safeguarding a country and her people these days is a lot messier and a lot dirtier of a business than it used to be. With secrets all around and fear being used as a motivation for countries and people to act morally, he finds himself at odds with the whole system. It is a very good idea and it is an idea that I've been waiting for Marvel Comics to explore, specifically using Cap ever since the Edward Snowden thing happened. The world has changed a lot since the good old days of the 1940s in a lot of terrifying ways and there is no one who is better to comment on that than Captain America. Things are made more complicated by the involvement of the Winter Soldier, a mysterious and almost legendary assassin who has been active and involved in deaths of significant figures throughout key points of history for over 50 years. So little is known about him that he's like a ghost appearing and disappearing throughout history. It is awesome! I won't say anything more about the plot, so go watch the movie yourself. The acting in this movie is fantastic and every actor brought their A-game to all the characters to make them fully realized and fully functional characters. I loved all of them. Black Widow is the best she's ever been and I suddenly have a craving for a solo Black Widow movie. Marvel, please make it happen, I need it. And I am sure I'm not the only one. Robert Redford is another great addition to the Marvel Cinematic Universe and he brings a serious and mature gravity to his role which the movie thanks him for. The fight scenes in this movie are fucking amazing and they really go out of their way to highlight how much of a physical powerhouse Cap really is. Iron Man? Fuck Iron Man! This is the real Man of Iron! The music in the movie is really good too. It creates and maintains a constant and tense atmosphere throughout the movie which I'm really grateful for. One thing that I really enjoyed was the character dynamics between the different characters. It made them feel like they were well developed and fleshed out characters who had real relationships with each other. For example, Cap and Black Widow, Cap and the Falcon, Cap and Nick Fury, and maybe Nick Fury and Alexander Pierce. I liked their interactions, I thought it was really cool, and I found myself believing that these were really people who knew each other and who had shit to do with each other, and I appreciate that. And that's all I can really say about the movie without spoiling anything. There are some really good twists, and if you love the Marvel Cinematic Universe, this is going to blow your mind. It is awesome. Captain America the Winter Soldier deserves the highest of fives. America! So, did you watch Cap 2? Did you like it? Are you going to watch it? Comment below and let me know. If you like my video and you want to see more, why don't you hit subscribe? I'll be making as many of these as I possibly can, as often as I possibly can. Until then, thanks for watching my review, and have a nice day. Bye bye! It's a review of a Marvel movie, so of course there's gonna be a post credit scene, come on. Alright guys, let's get real here. This part is not gonna be about a review, it's gonna be about me, and it's gonna be about you. I wanna thank you all for the very positive response that you gave to my first kinda shitty video. I know that it wasn't perfect, I know there were a lot of mistakes, I know the background was terrible, I knew I could've used some background music, I know that I, I should get rid of this fucking thing. But trust me, there are reasons for all that bullshit and I am learning as I go along and I hope to make things better and better. See? Better background. It does not look like someone's fucking closet anymore. Thanks for your patience and I hope you'll bear with me. When you start from the bottom, the only place you can go is up, right?
or, or sideways, but let's not talk about that. I hope to get better as time goes on, and I hope you guys will stick around to find out. Thank you so much for your positive response. I'll aim to please. Have a good day, you awesome, awesome people. See ya.